So do you remember the Ruinous Powers? They were proposed as a brand new prayer book, initially passing the poll as a reward from Desert Treasure 2. Players were originally excited about these new prayers, but concerns about power creep and click intensive new metas resulted in the prayers being shelved indefinitely. And although they made a brief appearance as a tier 6 relic in the last league, many players thought maybe we've heard the last of them. Until a redditor named NinjaGamer1337 proposed a slight tweak, the God Alignment Prayer prayers, which would be an add-on to the current prayer book, but you'd choose to align with a certain god, thereby unlocking some additional prayers depending on which god you chose. And this suggestion, well, it was really popular, it got over 10,000 upvotes, with Mod Kieran stating that he thinks this is a brilliant idea, and the team would use this as inspiration. So Jagex ran a survey not long after, and over 18,000 players expressed interest. The community got so impatient for an update that the idea got bumped only two months ago. Mod Arcane stated that they were still interested in this, with Mod Goblin backing him up on a claim that we would hear more soon. Soon has officially arrived, because just yesterday, Jagex proposed their version of the God Alignment Prayers, showcasing the Covenants of Light for Saren, requiring Song of the Elves, the Ruinous Powers for Xeros, requiring Desert Treasure 2, and the Rites of Balance for Guthix, requiring the upcoming Wild Guthix Sleeps quest, and with the other gods and demigods to come at a later time. Although Mod Sarni's Reddit announcement of the proposal had a few hundred upvotes at the time of writing this, it's usually not so good when our threads have more comments than likes. Despite the insane hype leading up to this idea, once the concept was proposed, players started to think that these prayers might be too much. One of the most liked responses on this Reddit post came from Adikon, who we all know is a mechanical monster, and his feedback made it clear he was not excited about this. As some of these prayers will have various short buffs and cooldowns, he felt this is straying a little too close to an update we all know too well from 2012, or even too similar to other MMOs, instead of leaning into what makes old school RuneScape different. Isn't that gameplay so compelling? Wasn't that cool? Wait, wait. For for those of you who don't play RuneScape and you're just watching the game. Isn't that sick? Do you see all that cool sh my character is doing? We love prayers. Aren't they the coolest part of RuneScape? All video games are numbers, all of them. But good, what right? makes the game cool is the story and the drama of it being acted out on screen and you mechanically engaging with the content. This, not cool. Jagex also posted the blog on Twitter where many content creators gave their two cents. Foe outright said they should leave the prayer book alone, while Xtina and Framed thought they're complicated and not a great fit for the game. Tedious was less than enthusiastic with an eh, while Matt K announced that he has an atheist-only Iron Man, so none of this applies to him anyway. So with all the outcry, will the once beloved god alignments go to the way of the ruinous powers and be dead in the water? Or will you make suggestions to bring the new concept back to a place we can all understand? The survey is already at the end of the blog and linked in the description, so please familiarize yourself with the finer details of what these prayers could do and help Jagex out by giving some helpful feedback. And be kind with your feedback, or else your friends will think you've already aligned with Samurai. And that didn't work out so hot for that guy in Varrock Castle. Welcome to RuneScape Chronicles, I'm your host, ChemQ. Hits. Here we go, and I'm running to the Duke, and hopefully doesn't want to hit me with that eyeball attack. It's kind of scary, kind of freaky, kind of juicy, kind of loosey, kind of running out of words but it's okay we'll come back in round two when i think of more words to say <laughs> yo hit him with the beat the ghosty 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 go oh f hey ghosty ghosty jesus christ there's a lot of them ghosty 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 z ghosty z ghosty z ghosty z ghosty Z ghosty. Satyrs at Callisto with a clan because there is strength in numbers you just have to coordinate Z ghosty. Do you guys, you guys see anybody like Z? I'm saying Z f ghosty. I'm the only mother f hitting him. Oh, this is so cringe. Like, uh, just like, hello. How many more times do I have to say Z ghosty? Weather lady. But soon they start to work together.
Oh, never mind. Weather lady, why are you? Roll a lolly! Roll a lolly! What are you doing? Mother f I'm calling you out. What the sh was that, dude? You're still attacking the bear? I said weather lady, mother f I'm wondering if I could have teleported out as soon as I saw the superior, gotten a full inventory of food, and then immediately gotten back. Oh my god, dude. We just got the. <laughs> No, I know. Ouch. That's a one in a thousand drop, just like the basilisk jaw. But he carries on. There's no f way. We don't talk about it. Two seconds later. When I told Jagex to boost my drop rates this stream, this is not what I had in mind. What? What is happening? What is? Ha I just got back-to-back -back basilisk heads. What is happening? The game's broken. The game's busted. The game is actually busted. What in the f is that? That is a one in a million chance. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm f done. I'm getting water. He's not exaggerating. That has to be something like a one in a million chance. I feel like I'd be a little demotivated. Nah. We didn't. We didn't just get it. We didn't just get it, bro. I actually got four basilisk heads and a jaw in one task. <laughs> For this ping, it's not bad. It's just, it's hard to get the Karam off. Oh my God, pit swap. Yeah, he had it all. Good, 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 good. It's just a, it's just a multi bit. Wait, can you do that? Sadly, yes, he can do that. Smited for the Ultra Ring. Mr. Cheese has done seven medium clues and will probably only ever do seven medium clues. List lovers from Discord submissions wants to bring this fight south, but the other guy won't follow. So he takes it to the end zone. We didn't see the key, but it was worth 69 mil. Nice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? I got a table! I got a table! I got a table! I got a table! Oh my god! I got a table! Wait, what did he get? Just kidding, a huge congrats to Pure 7 Mood. History is made in old school as an Iron Man going by the name of Ruzzy002 does something no other Iron Man has done before, completing the boss collection log. This Iron Man has green logged every boss in old school RuneScape and reached as high as rank three on certain bosses during the grind. Pretty sure there are less than five people that have green logged every boss. Maybe there's only three so far? Well done, man. No piety, at least we're overloaded and anything but a burn with me and we'll be fine. Called his own death. Oof. I'm so mad. Like, I'm like, I'm just, oh my God. <laughs> I just can't make this up, man. I'm cursed, bro. I'm gonna be here forever, man. Normally, people would be excited, but that's his third Virtus Rope Top. He still needs the two other pieces to complete the set. I see. <laughs> Woo! And that's his third Mage's Vestige as well. What is this RNG? We do be, uh, we do be making the money at Dookie. <laughs> So close, so close. <gasps> yes! 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 Duke, I love you, you beautiful boss. Two verses in a day? You gotta be kidding me, man.
I'd be upset too. That was 114 damage all on the same tick. Better luck next time, Skilly. Poison Swamp submitted through Discord his level 3 Ultimate Iron Man, attempting to get an Iron Dragger P from the Wilderness. And he just has to get past the Chaos Elemental. We need to survive the journey back out of the wilderness. Okay, no one's downstairs. Oh, oh, oh he's doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Go on, mate. You got this. Okay, looking around. No one here. No Chaos Elemental. All right, we're making a break for it. Oh, no. Oh, come on, come on. No, no! Ah, oh, ah! Oh. Go, 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 go! Another one! Eat, eat, eat! Oh, holy shit! Is he gone? Oh, fuck me! Barely makes it out after tanking two hits from the Chaos Ellie. And that Chaos Ellie has a max hit of 28. That's lucky. Dead! Big XP, bro! That was a fat XP! Wow! Impeccable! T Poyo here is a relatively new YouTuber, but he's come up with one heck of an idea. Some mechanics are just so fundamental to playing RuneScape that you don't even think of them as mechanics. They're just things you do. Like clicking on people, that's just a thing you do all the time. Literally most things you can do in this game require you to interact with someone at some point, whether it's to attack them, to trade them, or to just talk to them. So, what if you took this absolutely fundamental part of the game away? How far could you actually get? What can you even do in a world where all of Gilinor is just a ghost town? I wanted to set out and find out just that when I made my new Hardcore Iron Man in Viscape. At all times when I'm playing on this account, I will be using Runelight's Entity Hider and Minimap plugins to make sure that I can never see or initiate any sort of interaction with anyone. So his hardcore Iron Man is in a world of John Cena's? There's no way he's gonna get the fire cape, but you should subscribe to his channel just in case. And that's it for the latest 48 hours of RuneScape. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again in two days.